In this lesson, we will go over the features of Analysis Workbench. I've started off the scenario with a place object, Mount St. Helen, and an aircraft, and I've computed axis between the two. So that's what you're seeing both in the 3D and the 2D graphics windows. Now I'll open up Analysis Workbench. I can access it from the toolbar using the Analysis Workbench icon, or go to Analysis and go open up Analysis Workbench. We can see the different categories of Analysis Workbench here, the Vector Geometry tab, Time tab, Calculation tab, and Spatial Analysis tab. We will work from the Vector Geometry tab first, and we will create a, we will create a custom displacement vector. So we can see here there's a list of pre-installed vectors, um, axes, systems, points, as well as angles and planes. To create your own, you would use one of the buttons located in the middle to create that specific component. So we'll go in and create a new vector. So the type is set to displacement. If we hit select, we can choose other vector options. For this case, we're going to stick with displacement. And then we'll also rename it. So this is going to be a displacement vector that points to Mount St. Helen. So let's just write to St. Helens in the name field. The parent object is set to being the aircraft. And since I want this to point from the aircraft to, uh, to Mount St. Helens, I'll just change the origin point to the aircraft center, as well as update the destination point to the Mount St. Helens sec center. Now that I have that all set up, I'm going to leave uh, the rest of these defaults and just click OK. So now we can see that my custom vector has been added to the My Components section. Not only can you create vectors, you can also use those vectors you created and create uh, new angles. So we'll do that next. So we'll create a new angle. And we want this type to be between vectors. Of course, there are other options that we can choose as well. And then this will be the pointing angle. So I'll just call this pointing angle. And then I want my from vector to be from that angle that I created. So I'm going to select the aircraft, scroll up till I find that component. And then my two vector, I want it to be a vector that points from the two Mount St. Helens displacement vector to the body Z axis of the aircraft. So I'll choose aircraft scroll down till I see body and select Z and click OK. Once I have that all set up, I'm going to click OK. And now I can see that I have my custom vector and angle added to my list. Now that I've created this vector and this angle, I can add it in and see it visually on my aircraft. So I'm going to close out of Analysis Workbench and open up the aircraft's properties. So underneath 3D graphics and vector, I'm going to add that vector and that angle that I created. So I'm going to click adding that vector. So it'll hit apply. And then I'm also going to add the angle and hit apply. So I can see my two Mount St. Helens vector has been added. And if I look over at the angle tab, I can see my pointing angle has also been added. Now, I can also show the angle value once I enable this, and I can hit Apply. If I also want to see that body Z axis, I can go to Axes and just include the entire body axis. Now I'm going to hit Apply and OK. So now when I take a look at my aircraft, I can see that I have my body axis so my Z, my X, my Y, my vector that's pointing to Mount St. Helens, as well as that pointing angle. And then it also displays the angle value as well.